absolutely different slides and contrast. Uh, just stay with us, Kartikeya. Let me uh, quickly uh, run our viewers through what we're seeing right now. These pictures coming in from Lok Sabha Secretary General's office. Key members of the UPA present there as the Vice President Hamid Ansari files his nomination papers of a re-election to the office of the Vice President. Uh, he's filing his nomination papers there in the presence of the UPA chairperson. Sonia Gandhi, Prime Minister Mohan Singh, Congress General Secretary Rahul Gandhi. Hamid Ansari was chosen as UPA's nominee last Saturday and uh, after uh, proposing to other names, Mamta Banji too has come around and has pledged her support for Hamid Ansari. He will be submitting some four sets of nomination papers to Lok Sabha Secretary General today for the post of uh, Vice President. Like we said, all these key members of the UPA are present there and uh, it seems Ahmed Ansari is on the home run here. All right, let me go across to our political editor Javed Ansari. Javed, uh, just take, talk, to talk us through, um, you know, what really uh, we are witnessing here considering that he is making history of sorts, Hamid Ansari, if he gets elected into the office of Vice President. Uh, w of course, we've seen a huge furore after what happened in Rajya Sabha during the winter session over the issue of Lokpal. But uh, other than that, there are several other things that Hamid Ansari has introduced as the chairperson of Rajya Sabha. Well, one, one was, he, he, he said that even if people are not present there to ask questions, their questions must be taken up. Second, he also mooted the idea, the proposal of shifting question hours from early in the morning to 3 o'clock, so that question hour is not disrupted, because question hour is, is members' time, and they be, and he felt that members have been elected to, to discharge the duty, and therefore they must be given a chance to ask questions and query the government on issues of their concern. So there are initiatives that he did take. It is significant that he's getting a second term. Uh, he was, if, if you remember, one of the two candidates, two uh, probable candidates, because that Sonia Gandhi had put forward before her allies. Ultimately, it's Mr. Pranav Mukherjee's name, which was the not. And ever since then, there was speculation and there was talk in public circles and UPA circles that given the way he's conducted the House and given the way he's conducted himself in office, he deserves a, a, a second stint as Vice President, and that is precisely what the UPA has managed to do today. All right, for the Vice Presidential polls, Hamid Ansari has filed his nomination papers. These are pictures coming in. The candidate of the UPA and of the supporting parties, I am very grateful to all the leaders who have come here to uh, attend this function to nomination papers and sponsoring me. Thank you. We are all very delighted that there is such a lesser support for renomination of Hamid Khan Sari Sahib to the August office of the Vice President. Those are pictures of uh, uh, pictures of Hamid Ansari coming in from Lok Sabha Secretary General General's office after filing oh, his oh, nomination oh. papers. Uh, well, there you heard the Prime Minister himself, who said he is delighted that there is massive support for re-election of Hamid Ansari for the post of Vice President. So, Vice uh, President Hamid Ansari filing his nomination papers for re-election. To Vice President's office. He submitted four sets of nomination papers to Lok Sabha Secretary General. Javed, so it's a clear uh, race, a uh, clear fight between Jaswant Singh and the Hamid Ansari, but it's a fight for the sake of a fight. Um, we, we know the outcome considering uh, there is massive support that has come for Hamid Ansari and his candidature for Vice President's post. Yes, as the numbers stack up in the 790 member electoral college comprising MPs of both houses of parliament, it is evident that the UPA candidate has, has the, the majority support, over 60% support of the, MP, of the MP. So unless there is a huge erosion overnight, which at this moment of time appears unlikely, it appears that it could not be much of a contest and that the BJP 
This candidate is contesting, but the BJP has NDA has put up a candidate merely to prove a point rather than in, in any real hope of a victory.